I'm Christopher Smith. I live in Chicago. I'm originally from Kansas. When I found I had VA care and I started coming here, that's when everything changed. That's when, that's when I had someone to look after my eye that was concerned about me keeping my sight and realized that there was a psychological uh, under, you know, effect of this. Anything that's been traumatic in your life that you're trying to look past can trigger post-traumatic stress disorder. In my case, a near loss of vision. In, in other people, it, there is no known cause. It just happens. It's anxiety. I'm lucky, at least I know it's causing that. Kristen Bauman is the music yeah, therapist. Yeah. I did not know who she was. She yeah. I should. She's going down the hall with this cart, with this huge cart full of all these drums. So where are you going with all these bongos and gym bays? Drum therapy, want to go? And I said, I can't, I've got an appointment. But I, I got her card, and that was the beginning of finding out about recreation therapy. Um, well, I think, there's, I think there's a lot of levels that happen. I think at the first level, I think you're playing and you're listening and you're paying attention to other things. So now you get to work in a space that collaborates. You get to sit and listen to people play and you get to find a space in that. So you really build something together. It's not just you. Um, and that's what I think a lot of people that are slightly um, um, autistic will kind of draw out of that a little bit. It, it helps kind of break people out of their mold and think about other people. I think also more deeply there's just something tribal in us. I think that that want to be part of the beat. I mean, there, there are psychological studies that say a lot of it, a lot of our love of music is our interest in rhythm for our own survival. And I think when you drum and you drum just to drum and you don't do anything else, you're not drumming to impress anybody. You're drum, just drumming to be part of something. It's, um, it's a study in mindfulness. The, just the ability to be present. And I think singing is a great way because you really have to pay attention to what you're doing. And in drum circle, you really have to listen to the group. It is, it is definitely a group exercise. Primarily, well, stress is the first thing that I noticed disappeared. Uh, it never disappears. That's the thing about PTSD. It's always there. Um, anxiety is always there. But I know that when I play, my anxiety is significantly less. It's helped me be more considerate of other people. I think when you have a lot of anxiety, you just tend to focus on you. And you realize, <clears throat> you realize we're kind of all in it together. Just like the drum circle, we're all in this together every day. So why not? Why not just be a little more mindful of each other? If you have anxiety, you need to find a way to be present. It, it, your anxiety comes from worrying too much about what's behind you or too much about what's ahead of you. And anything you can do to find a way to be present, to be here now, is the best. Whether it be meditation or playing drums, singing, hopscotch, as soon as you can do something like play the guitar, you begin to believe in yourself more. And I, I think that's true for karaoke, that's true for the drum circle. There's, there's countless benefits that we don't even realize how they're helping us. It doesn't matter whether you have anxiety or not. If you just need a change in your life, if you need to try something new or you think maybe there's a part of you you have never expressed, like a musical side of you, the music therapy is the place.